What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? Monday, December 29th, 2025. December has been an active month. We've seen atmospheric rivers wash out towns from British Columbia, Washington, Oregon, and California. And now we have tornadoes and bomb cyclones in the Midwest. And through it all, we've seen harp and ice cat active during every major event, not just during November and December of this year, but every year for decades. We know the facilities can bend jet streams, alter weather patterns around the world. We also have satellites of similar capabilities and let's not forget about the floating facilities like SBX. We just witnessed a dramatic geoengineered winter system with a frontal boundary stretching almost 3,000 miles. We can see this system stretching from the Pacific, heating taking place in Mexico. The atmosphere is loaded with aerosols in the stratosphere, the tropopause and the troposphere. And who knows how much cloud seeding is taking place from the ground and at altitude. We saw temperature extremes from 80 degrees in Texas to minus 27 degrees below zero at Yellowstone. Winds out of Ontario were expected to reach over 90 miles an hour, while the northern United States and the Midwest saw blizzard conditions. And wind gusts over 60 miles an hour, major power outages, even Illinois had a tornado, and there is red flag warnings today in North Carolina. We live inside a planet-wide technological atmosphere. This isn't speculation. Weather modification exists. Aerosol injection exists. Electromagnetic atmospheric systems exist. And the global infrastructure capable of influencing the atmosphere absolutely exists. This is not climate change, but rather climate engineering. Aerosols change how clouds behave. Disperse enough aerosols and the sky becomes completely covered. These operations influence condensation, freezing, rainfall timing, and storm intensity. When they load the atmosphere with particulates, we get an altered system. On top of that, we now have unprecedented electromagnetic activity interacting with the sky. Ionospheric heaters, massive radar networks, satellite to ground transmissions, and military atmospheric platforms. The atmosphere, the ionosphere, the magnetosphere, the stratosphere, and the troposphere are electrically connected. Peer-reviewed research openly acknowledges this coupling effect. When they interfere with a living, breathing atmospheric system, especially on a global scale, they destabilize the entire system. And what does that destabilized system look like? Sharp continental scale temperature contrast, record warmth beside record cold, violent jet stream distortions, explosive storm development, and sudden atmospheric snap events. Exactly the kind of conditions we just experienced. Warmth on one side, Arctic on the other, a bent jet stream, a razor sharp dividing line ripping through the country. Yeah, that's geoengineering. The narrative would have you believe this is Mother Nature responding to climate change. Some want to blame the sun and cosmic forces beyond our reach. But the real machinery, it isn't out there. It's right here and it's not invisible. It is all around us. We can see the towers, we can see the arrays, we can see the transmitters, the radar networks, the sprayed aerosol dispersions, the aerosols deployed right over our heads. We live surrounded by an atmosphere under constant technological assault. And understand this, this is only a small piece of the story. What we touched on here today is just the surface of a much larger, far more complex picture. There are operations, technologies, systems, and consequences that I haven't even begun to unpack in this video. I already have the reports written and more investigations underway, missing components that complete the picture. So if this feels big now, just know this is only the beginning. A huge shout out to Rachel Gershik, Roberta, Adrian Pitt, and Barbara Hansen for using my links and helping to support the channel. You guys make these videos possible. And to all of you who share information in the comments and share these videos, Tilly, 
Jamie Trussell, Paul A., Storm Patterson. Much love and many thanks. Okay, Skywatchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.